Security researchers at F5 monitor web traffic 24-7 at locations around the world. And the F5 Security Incident Response Team helps customers tackle incident response in real time. And when they find a new vulnerability, it'll often get a common vulnerability and exposures number like CVE 2019-1105 for the Outlook for Android spoofing vulnerability. So let's start the clock to understand a little bit about the Common Vulnerability and Exposures, or CVE. Created in 1999, the CVE provides definitions for all publicly known cybersecurity vulnerabilities and exposures. These definitions make it easier to share data across separate tools, databases, and services. CVE IDs consist of an identification number, a description, and at least one public reference. When a potential security vulnerability or exposure is reported, it's assigned a CVE ID by a CVE numbering authority. The CNA writes the description and adds any references, and then the completed CVE entry is posted on the CVE website. Industry standards are generally used when describing vulnerabilities. Product, version, problem type, references, and a detailed description that describes that the vulnerability is unique. That description includes the attack type using the vulnerability, its impact, the software components that are affected by it, and any attack vectors that can make use of the vulnerability. Typically, this looks like problem type in product version causes impact when attack. CVE is free to use and publicly available to anyone interested in correlating vulnerability and security data. While CVE is not a vulnerability database, it is designed to allow vulnerability databases and other capabilities to be linked together and to facilitate the comparison of security tools and services. It does not include risk, impact, or mitigation information. Funded by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, MITRE has copyrighted the CVE list for the benefit of the community to ensure it remains a free and open standard. You can learn more at cve.mitre.org. F5 security researchers will continue monitoring new web application exploits to deliver the latest threat intelligence and share it with the broader IT security community. Special thanks to MITRE for most of the info contained in this episode. I'm Peter. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on 90 Seconds, we'll explore the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, and how it provides a score to indicate the severity of the CVE entities. Thanks for watching.